one congressman is calling for a new strategy to strip Planned Parenthood of federal funds. While Congress did not defund America's largest abortion provider through reconciliation last year, one congressman is focusing on a new opportunity to remove tax dollars from Planned Parenthood. Kansas Representative Ron Estes is calling for new rules in a family planning grant program called the Title X program. The Title X family planning program is Planned Parenthood's second largest federal source of funding. Estes is calling on the Trump administration to finally stop using these funds to essentially underwrite Planned Parenthood. We are joined now by Representative Ron Estes of Kansas from Capitol Hill. Congressman, what exactly do you want to see changed in the Title X program? Well, the biggest thing that, that we sent the letter to the Secretary Azar about is how, how do we make sure that we, we block this funding for abortion? So, so basically the program, the Title X funding, it, it focuses on allowing uh, health care providers to provide abortion based on the current regulations that are in place. Now, that's really opposition of what the statute says. It's been proven back during the Reagan administration that, uh, and held up by the Supreme Court that uh, this is the wrong way to do it, but it was implemented that way by the Clinton administration and continued to be followed by the Obama administration. We want to make sure that health care dollars are being provided to organizations that do provide health care and, and not use abortion as a family planning technique, because that's not what it is at all. Now, we haven't defunded Planned Parenthood yet, which is a major priority for the pro-life movement. Would this Title X rule change be a significant step to defund the abortion giant, in your opinion? It would be a very significant step. You know, right now this Title X funding is the second largest amount of money that funds Planned Parenthood for their abortion activities. And if you go back and look between 2013 and 2016, Planned Parenthood raised over $170 million through this Title X funding. And if we can cut that off, making sure that uh, those, those dollars are used for real health care as opposed to abortions. You mentioned these rules that you're proposing were originally put into place by President Reagan. The Bush administration did not put these policies back into place, but do you think the Trump administration will? I, I have a lot of confidence in the Trump administration doing that. You know, when the Bush administration started, uh, they quickly got uh, caught up in uh, the 9-11 and all the activities around there. But President Trump has stood up and said that, you know, he wants to make sure that uh, we, we reduce abortions and we, and we eliminate that. And the folks that he's appointed, whether it's to the courts or whether it's to the agencies, have all been uh, along the same lines. And, and we just want to keep this effort going forward. Now, Planned Parenthood says their Title X services have helped millions of low-income Americans. What do you want to say about that, Congressman? Would stripping Planned Parenthood of these funds essentially hurt the poor? Well, I, I think that's, that's a little bit of a, a disingenuous approach to look at it. Let's separate out abortion versus providing good quality health care. There's a lot of good, good organizations, good medical centers that can provide health care, and we want to make sure those Title Ten dollars go to support that and, and support the poor in their needs, uh, but not necessarily target funding abortion. Congressman, prior to your role as a U.S. representative for Kansas, you were the state's treasurer. It seems you have a special focus on finances. Why is following the abortion money trail so important for the pro-life movement? It, it is important from the standpoint of that drives people's behavior uh, based on the amount of money they can get. And, and we've seen so many unseemly things done in, in the quest of chasing this money. And, and we're going to focus on making sure that Money's used the way it's been legislative directed to be used and make sure that the programs work the way we want them to provide good quality health care. Representative Ron Estes of Kansas, thank you for your time. Thank you. We are going to continue this conversation with our next guest, a trusted pro-life expert. Mallory Quigley is Vice President of Communications for the Susan B. Anthony List. Mallory, thanks for being here. My pleasure. What did you make of what Congressman Estes had to say about Title X? Well, the congressman is certainly right that this is Planned Parenthood's second largest source of taxpayer dollars, and it would be a huge victory, not just for the pro-life movement if we defund them, but for 
pro-life taxpayers and for people that rely on Title X grants to get access to certain kinds of health care. Now, Planned Parenthood's outgoing president, Cecile Richard, she's currently traveling around touting her new book. Has she responded to this at all? Has she said anything? How is she spinning Planned Parenthood's work? Well, she hasn't responded yet to this particular effort, but I saw her on an interview this week, and she was just shocked to at the idea that there would be pro-life women interested in policy and legislation. Mm. She was very dismissive, but you know, for years she's spun the same lies that Planned Parenthood uses their Title X funding to promote contraception, mm. which of course um, we have issues with as Catholics, Absolutely. but they're, if you, and they claim that this is their, their mainstay, not mm -hmm. abortion, but if you look at their most recent annual reports and you track their contraceptive services over the years, even that is declining. But basically their bottom line is they want to use this to get children in the door under the guise of teaching them about contraception so that they will come back later as clients for abortion. Speaking of talking points that we often hear from Planned Parenthood, they say that this Title X family planning program since 1970 has helped millions of low-income Americans mm -hmm. get health care. Mallory, can you just be straightforward? Would stripping Planned Parenthood of these funds hurt the poor? Absolutely not. For every one Planned Parenthood, there are more than 20 community health centers nationwide that are already, they know the populations mm -hmm. that they are need to serve and they're providing them not just with preventative health care, but comprehensive whole woman care. They're serving men, they're serving children. Mm -hmm. They're addressing a myriad of issues that Planned Parenthood doesn't. So the, the poor will actually, be, will actually be better served by redirecting this funding away from Planned Parenthood and to alternatives that don't promote abortion on demand. So back Back to these Title X um, rules that Congressman Estes is proposing. They haven't been in place since President Reagan. Mm -hmm. Do you think Donald Trump will put them back into place? I certainly hope so. And I think that there's been tons of good indicators with the Trump administration, you know, not just reinstating the Mexico City policy, but expanding it, strengthening it. So we hope that the this pro-life administration is going to continue their pro-life track record, which has also included giving states the freedom to redirect their Title X funding to the cl clinics that they think serve populations best. So we're um, hopeful that Secretary Azar at HHS will be amenable to these new rules and that the Trump administration will implement them, but we want to make sure that they're hearing from the pro-life grassroots and from the U.S. Congress. Absolutely. It's important. Mallory Quigley, this is me, Anthony Les. Thanks for being here. You're welcome.